Hi, my name's Tom Clark. I'm the head gardener at Exbury Gardens and we're going to talk about camellias. So the genus Camellia is a big group of plants. There's about 300 probably species, mainly come from the Far East, so Japan, China and into the Philippines and Indonesia. The main variety that we cultivate are Camellia japonica, so they're the Japanese camellias. Uh, the most commonly cultivated camellia in the world is Camellia sinensis, which is the tea plant. So when you have a cup of tea, you're drinking, that is a camellia. So the Chinese camellia is green tea or black tea. There's only one variety and there's been lots of different cultivars bred from that to make all the different teas. But uh, you can make tea out of Camellia japonica as well. Uh, also oil, they make, they make camellia oil. Camellia olifera comes from the seeds which are ground up in Japan to make a very uh, attractive hair oil as well as uh, an oil for cooking and a very high grade, well, engineering oil. Expert, we've got hun literally hundreds of different varieties of camellia. Uh, we've got quite a lot of camellia japonicas, which are behind us in the Jewelbury Lane Garden. We've also got the new camellia walk, which is mainly made up of newer American cultivars, and also the old camellia walk, where our historic collection of camellias are. So they're well in the high hundreds of different varieties of camellia here at Exbury. So Exbury has also has some very unique camellias within its collection. Lionel de Rothschild, back in the 1920s, was very keen on camellias, planted quite a lot, lot up in the woodland along with rhododendrons because they're evergreen, they're fast growing and they form a backdrop to you know, a lot of the other planting. There's also uh, Camellia salienensis, which is a species was collected by George Forrest back in the 1930s. And then we've got some of his original plants, Limagon, which are now big old trees. So the first camellias arrived in the, in the British Isles in the 1730s and they were originally thought, because they came from these very exotic countries, they were thought to be glasshouse plants. So people built specific glasshouses just to grow their camellias in, not realising that actually they're really hardy, which is one of the great things about camellias is that, you know, they'll grow in pretty much any weather conditions, they're pretty tough, but they look very exotic. So people built these glasshouses and then it was realised that actually they could be grown out in the open. The Japanese have been cultivating uh, camellias for hundreds and hundreds of years. Japan, like the UK, has got a very long history of horticulture, so there's some really ancient cultivars. There's also some really old or uh, well, ancient plants, some hundreds and hundreds of years old outside the uh, some Buddhist temples in China. 